I think you generally look at, all coaches will tell you, they look at the technical, the, the tactical, the physical and the mental attributes of any player. And, you know, I tend to look at the technical, you know, I don't care how big you are, how small you are. If you're able to control the ball, pass the ball, manipulate the ball, see pictures around you. It depends on positions as well. Sometimes I'm not going to probably sign a, a five foot centre back. I'll probably look for size in that area, but ability to turn, seize things, see move, seize movements, able to defend 1v1. So each position will have a player profile, you know, but the player profile would probably have about 10 little characteristics in the identification phase. And if it's got all 10, unfortunately, it probably won't be here. You'll be playing in Europe. That's what that's the reality of players. If it's got five or six, then it's really something that you can work with and something to look forward to working with as well. You know, it's a learning environment. I try and create that here. I think when you come to work, it's people not just in football, um, in, in general, want to learn, want to be better, have aspirations and goals. And I think that's important that they do that because, you know, people who get on in life tend to have these big dreams. and. If you don't reach for the stars, you never get there. If you're quite comfortable, you're happy floating along and going along, then you probably never get to where you want to get to until later in life when you actually think, well, I could have done this or I should have done that. So I try and make it that type of environment. I want them to be realistic as well. But in any walk of life, hard work always prevails. And that's the mentality I use.